you've been uh, very uh, vocal about the Time's Up movement, and I, I wanna, I read something really interesting about how you reached out, and I think there was a lot of people last year around this time reaching out to one another mm -hmm. in uh, the community, in the entertainment community, and Brie Larson said that when you reached out, she kind of realized she didn't have a lot of peers that she was friends with. Was that something that you found as well, that because how Hollywood works and, and how casts work, that you just have less interaction with yeah. who you would consider your peers? Yeah, it's the, this weird thing where there's usually like a girl in a movie. It's like the Smurfette syndrome where it's like all guys and then there's the girl in the movie, you know? And, um, and so we, we rarely get the chance to work together. And so it was this weird thing where we had kind of like seen each other at a party or met briefly, you know, for a second, but this was the first time that we were all in a room talking to each other, sharing stories and like connecting and working together. And it's been a completely life-changing thing. I'm so happy uh, that that's happening. I also, obviously it's the holidays, do you have holiday plans? Do you have things you're gonna do? Yeah, um, well we had Hanukkah already. Right, so that was great, a lot of, um, a lot of latkes and yes. <laughs> jelly donuts were eaten. We made the huge mistake day of the first night of Hanukkah where you're like, we should order some latkes and then call every place we called. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't think the latkes have been ordered? Yeah. <laughs> And that's that's amateur. Alex. Yeah, yeah, I was amateur. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I had a weird uh, like Jewish uh, holiday thing this year in that. Um, so. My cousin Meryl moved from New York to LA last year. She's an incredible illustrator and she, she moved out with her husband. And so we've been inviting um, them to our, um, all our Jewish holidays and everything. And then um, <laughs> I, she, the last three holidays, she like didn't reply. And I was like, did I do something to offend her? Did I hurt her feelings? Is she holding a grudge? And I was like, She's totally not that type of person. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna text her and be like, hey, you know, we're having um, Yom Kippur break fast, like come over. And so I looked when I went to text her and I realized I had two Merrills in my phone book and I'd been texting Meryl Streep. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. So of course I called and like explained. And um, so my cousin Meryl, who's an illustrator, made me this, I brought this um, to show This you. is really uh, fantastic. I'll let you read it for everyone. She uh. wrote, um, Natalie, may you be inscribed in the book of life and stop texting me. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Both Meryl Both for understanding. Yes. Thank you. Uh, well, it's just lovely to have you here. Thank you so much. You. And I hope to see you soon.